Hey everybody, Liberty here with a very specific goal in mind today. We are taking Spirits Unleashed and Iceborne Legacy and making really big spiders. Need I say more? Enjoy the games. <laughs> Aphrodite, am I safe? What do you mean? I mean, we won. Is that what you're talking about? Or, or is there some uh, something going down in Texas that I'm unaware of? Have a, is there some news that I missed? Just got here. Welcome to stream. Welcome, welcome. Okay, Red Gwen versus Spiders. Interesting. Red Gwen versus Spiders. Hopefully, Red Gwen... I end up walking four and a half miles every stream. So, uh, I get fitness in and, uh... And my and the Rune Terra. It's a pretty great combo. Do recommend. Okay, Iceborne Legacy. Perfect. Gwen Jinx. Very interesting. We'll keep a vile feast. Okay, we have, we have an Iceborne Legacy and a way to get spiders on the field and a Wraith, so we're pretty happy here. And the you guys are most... Um... I don't know exactly what you mean by that, Scorpy. I'm a little, I'm a little LOR boy. Inconsequential in the grand scale of Legends of Runeterra. No, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a little, little, little lore streamer. Skitter out from the darkness. A lot of people- I am well known, Scorpy, that's true. For those of you who are unaware, uh, look up Fervor Face on YouTube. I think that's what I'm mostly known for. It was kind of two things. It was last year, uh, I was pretty active in the lore community, like on Twitch and stuff. And then the other side of that was, um... Then for and then Fervor Face, yeah. I was pretty active in people's uh, chats and stuff, and then, actually, no, we'll we'll uh, go for Iceborne Legacy. We don't need the least level. Uh, people can make a living off being pro Shadow, or you mean like a pro player? Iceborne spiders, or you mean like being a pro content creator? Because Runeterra content creators make good money. It's not great money, don't get me wrong. But it is, in fact, money. There are there, there are a handful of uh, Runeterra content creators that make their living by playing the game. When the MMO comes out? You think uh, we'll get more Runeterra players when the MMO comes out, Ruz? Maybe. Perhaps. Defo a possibility. Maybe. I'd be down. I would be down. I'm so excited to get this Wraith out. You guys want me over to Wraith. Wraith's pretty dope. Stream Rune Terra. I know a lot of people do not make money when Stream Rune Terra. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that... Uh, Runeterra is a big enough game that it can support, uh, content creators. That's all I'm saying. Um, we could Vile Feasts. Let's just Vile... Vile Spider just have blockers. Stay healthy. 
Removing the Shinx here is going to be a little bit difficult. And they support well enough. Yeah, that's the other thing is that Riot's really good with their content creators. Like, of all game companies, there are some things they could be doing differently, but uh, Riot treats us, treats us pretty well. Um, and I'm saying that not even in the Riot Partner program. We shall sing, dance, and forget our woes. Wraith of the Echoes. Wraith of the Echoes. The spiders are coming. They're coming for your soul. Candy empties hand and do donk us. Yes. Are we sad about it? Yes. Can we still win? Also, yes. We are doing it. Rocket across our face makes us very sad. Thankfully, it only removes one unit because Aristocrat's uh, a bro, right? And this Wraith is gonna make our spiders really juiced so that when we Brood Awakening next turn, they're gonna be fat, stonky boys. Fat, stonky boys. Never mind, the Chompers means that they're a little bit less fat and stonky. Sad. Oh well. We're getting kind of low. This is very scary. Two Jinx rockets and we're dead. So uh, we kind of need to win here. Although Brood into Frenzied is a pretty good swing. Pretty good swing. Pretty good, and he and for him getting rid of three cards will be pretty hard. Seven five spider shadow, even better. Even better. We'll swing with all. We basically are setting up for an atro. Elise is not leveled. No, she got removed too earlier. We're basically playing for an Atro out. At the ready. I think an Atro out is very realistic. <laughs> Cut to the chase. May I see your invite? The Atro out is very realistic. Very, very. Because we just need to Atro. Oh, he's going to go into one. Opponent has a gumption. Okay, we win this. We win these. See ya. Are there cards that cause us to lose? Yes. I doubt that he's going to be able to remove our spider from play, though, through the Atro. Never in the world would I have thought that I would be using an atro Spiderling to win a game. But there's a first time for everything, right? First time for everything. One stitch at a time will make something totally new. Good stuff. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, I do want to explain my line there a little bit. Uh, so I specifically did that there because right now, if he had done as the stack fell, if he had a mystic shot or I get excited in hand, he would not have lethal to our atrocity. However, if I let the attack resolve and Gwen's uh, two proc hits Nexus, then our Atra would lose to him having a mystic or a get excited. So that was the reason why I specifically did it then. Come on, let's get some good matches. Plunder, okay. Now this is fun. I'm down to fight Plunder with Spiders. Spirits Unleashed on three. Yes, please. Yes, please. Where are you? 
Shell Shocker. Unfortunate. First time here. Absolutely slacker. Hit Masters. The, today's the last day, right? Today's the last day. It's Masters or nothing. Good luck. Ooh, that Tusk Speaker is really big. I don't like that at all. You got this. You got this. Fair enough, Slacker. I can respect that. Oh, this sucks so much. Strong as waves. This sucks so much. We'll still jam Spirit Unleashed on, um, on three. It's still our best move, but oh boy. Nautilia, Orn, Yumi. Yeah. Slow step, be slow. Very sad. Although, if Ryze's powers are any good, imagine beating like a, a 40 health opponent by just letting out your landmarks, right? And he might, Ryze might be playable. Gosh dang it, man. Of course he's saying it has that all. Man. I got this. We'll block this. Of course he has that all right after we wipe him. Keep it up. Do 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 do. I know what lurks in the shadows. Shaggy Cutlass. Go Are you gonna throw it on the Zap Spray Fin? Bruv. Bruv. I guess we'll jam a Skitter here. Actually, there's no need to. I am... Oh, Iceborne Legacy for the spiders. We'll jam Skitter now to put some pressure on him. What do we got? Oh, that's a fancy deck. Hush now. Jam the spider, spider, spiders. I probably should have saved Skitterer for next turn, but I wanted to Iceborne Legacy instead. Spooters. We can win with the Spooters, chat. We can do it. We can do it. I have faith. Parlay, oh no. I guess we'll glimpse to save the damage. Yeah, maybe. This is really unfortunate because now we don't have an Iceborne Legacy target. Very sad. On the flip side, we have good blockers. You Says you. Take. Very sad. He's gonna hurt a little bit. The Not lethal. The game floats. The game floats. We're just gonna have to jam a pack mentality here and hope it's enough. Yeah, we'll pack mentality into a uh, Atro next turn and hopefully that's enough. This does a decent amount of damage through him. Neither the flames nor the death. That's even better. He's giving me a barrel to hit over. We have lethal. Get her out from the dark. We should be able to figure out a lethal. Leave no survivors. I thought I had double spirits unleashed. Isn't that bugged? Say your farewells. What? I totally double spirits unleashed earlier. One? No, I didn't. Well, fair enough. Well 
Our ads are saving us. I'm glad we three upped it. GG's. That's good stuff. Open attack zap spray pen. Open attack zap, zap spray pen. Do it. Now there is a small chance that he has a freeze for my atro here. Bow to no one. And he just tapped out of it. And he just tapped out of it. Perfect. Very close game. Oh no, oh no. This says one he freeze. Oh, we were so close to losing there. Woo. What a game. Why is it a city? <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. You got me there. Hey, we're running the same... <laughs> we're running the same deck. That's funny. I bet you he's running spiders too. We'll see whose version is better. That might not be spiders. That could totally be Fuel the Rush, maybe? I don't know. It might just be normal Viego stuff. It'd be really funny if it's the same deck, though, right? Canis, welcome to the stream. We're running um, Iceborne Legacy Spiders right now. Plenty of fire to go around. Oh, husks? Okay, so he's legitimately running Viego. He's not running um, spiders. You you wouldn't have husks and spiders probably. <laughs> Big spooters, that's exactly right. Um, not really. Uh, we're just, we just got lucky to have a Viego, Viego Mirror. This is perfect, we get an Iceborne Legacy off rip next turn. Oh, we can even do this, guys, you ready for this glory? Oh, this is, this falls into an avalanche. Please don't avalanche me. Shoot! I got greedy, guys. I got greedy. Big saplings, fair enough. I got greedy. I got greedy. Very sad. Well, if he goes wide, we'll just slap down a Brood Awakening. Actually, no, Brood Awakening is still punishable. Screw it, we'll do it. Brood Awakening is good here because we level Elise. He shouldn't be able to stop it with one mana. I'll let him hit for free. This is still some pretty nice uh, tech damage, right? Yes, no Iceborne Legacy, but um, level Elise is still pretty good. Ooh, Spirits Unleashed. Um, Screw it, I'll, I'll jam a Spirits Unleashed. Can he just like Ice Shard me? Or like Avalanche me afterward? Yeah, but it's it's fine. That's fair. At least this Vile Feast Spider gets donked. Worth, I'd say. Yeah, that was a big greed. This would guys imagine all the value trading we would have been doing if I had gotten off the Iceborne Legacy when I was supposed to. <laughs> Thresh, there. Oh, we'll jam the Iceborne Legacy now. Stonky spiders. I will just trade them all out, or no, we can trade two. That's fine. And then we'll vile feast the Thresh. Guys, Matt, watch these vile feats just, just like swing the game, right? 
Have you guys ever seen a vile beast do this much damage? Bringing in a 4-4? Four -four? <laughs> Isn't that great? That's super nice. Um, we could Vile Feast again. Uh, we get three sisters. I honestly just want to pass. I want to get Viego out. Hydra Vine, let's go. Hearth bl Blood. Interesting. Vora. Yeah, he's really so this is just a viego deck basically is what our opponent's running thing is we got the viego done first so and we can vile feast here too we could kill an ally for viego to summon an encroaching mist but i don't think that's worth i'd rather just smork with them Uh, correct, Bagiri, correct. That is what's going on. Boop, 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 boop. Um, we, if we Hydravine, we kind of fall into a Ruination. So let's just stonk him. Let's just smork. Welcome to the stream, ninja. Do, 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 do. Vengeance, good. Get rid of a vengeance. We could have three sistered kept Diego in play, but I don't really want to do that, right? We're really here to like spirits unleash and all that. Get the spiders stonking. Stonky, stonky spiders. Screw it, we'll get a Hydra Vine going. We can always spirits unleash next turn. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Um, we'll just jam a Spirits Unleashed here. Our stuff's getting very big. Very big. I kind of want to jam this soldier here. But I kind of want to jam it next turn and pack here. Confirmed. Busy today. GCO, I'm down. I'm down. Hey guys, here's our line. We're gonna jam soldier into pack mentality. Oh ho ho, or we can song Diego. Now we'll jam soldier into pack mentality and hope for a lethal. He still has ruination as an option, but this will be pretty stonky. And then we have Diego to, to drop back down should we need it. There we go. Okay. I like how brawly this deck is. It's fun. <laughs> Big Diego units. 